welcome back to my channel, Torathina, where today I'm doing another comic book review. And today I am reviewing Coyotes by Image Comics. This has the. This has the cover dollar price of three cover dollar price. Cover dollar cover price? <laughs> it's been a while since I've done these reviews. <laughs> This has the cover price of $3.99 and the story is by Sean Lewis and the art is by Caitlin Yarsky. So what is this story about? Underworld meets Sicario in this new series from Sean Lewis who did The Saints and The Few and an amazing new artist, Caitlin Yarsky. Hunted by a legion of wolves that roam the border, women are disappearing. The survivors band together to wage war. Detective Frank Coffey is trying to understand this mythic level bloodbath when he comes across Red, a little girl with a secret and a sword. Ultra-violent and smart as hell, coyotes transform the everyday into a myth we can rally behind. I know I go on about comic covers a lot, but there's a, a lot of reasons for this. One, I am a businesswoman. PR is one of my favorite things in the sense that marketing helps sell a product. And I know there's a very famous thing about judging a book by its cover, but that what helps sell and it's like someone said what needs to be on the cover for Lucy to buy it. This is it. An awesome badass looking redhead with origami around the cover. Yeah I'm sold. I picked up this comic not knowing anything that it's about at all. I was very very open and excited to read this. The art is truly magical. It has like this Saturday morning childlike cartoon kind of vibe to it which gives it this slight innocence but the story in itself is not. Even though it's about this child, it opens up surrounded by corpses, it gets dark and gritty very quickly. It's it's just this juxtaposition of innocence and the loss of it. It's so dark and brutal and it's just beautiful. The world that is building in this comic is a very interesting one. I'm very intrigued about what's going on with it. I want to know more, but I have to admit I read this comic not knowing anything, no synopsis, no nothing, and it took me a long time to work out what was going on. And I, I can't even say that I worked out all of what was going on. Quite a lot of this comic, I was just confused. I get it. They're scared of things. They've got to warn up from things. Things are going to kill them. And then there's a lot of curveballs and a lot of factors. It, fa it feels like a very intense world. It's not showing enough of it or explaining enough of it in one issue. And I have to be honest, just from reading the first issue alone, I had no severe desire to carry on reading. I want to carry on and I will definitely pick up issue two to see where it goes. But from only reading the comic without really knowing or understanding the world, I think there was too much going on for my little brain to comprehend. Hand. But I want to carry on and I will be picking this up but I want to carry on and I will be picking up issue two to see where it goes. Well, thank you so much for watching. Comment below, have you read this comic? Were you as confused as me? Now, don't get me wrong, I still loved it, but did you follow the story much quicker than I did? Did it take you a while to kind of figure things out like me? I'd love for you to talk below. Let's start talking about comics again. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe because it helps out the channel and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.